your life has been so, I mean, it probably gets exhausting with the amount of men and the amount of attention you've gotten. <laughs> like, do you think you're the most successful sort of person to come out of Playboy? Yeah, You'd, Playboy Playmate. Yeah, you did 14 oh. covers of Playboy. Your name is known everywhere around the world. Most people who go in Playboy have dreams that they're going to be Pamela Anderson, and they don't <laughs> achieve them. In fact, it's a, it's a letdown, kind of. They go back to their hometowns, kind of like, what the fuck went wrong? <laughs> Um, well, did you ever I say think, to yourself, oh, my God, how did this really happen? Oh, all the time. I don't know how it really happened. I don't know how I'm still doing what I'm doing. And I've raised two pretty normal kids. And mm. Tommy and I are really united as parents, and especially lately as the kids are getting older. I'm like, my kids are both over six feet tall, and they're, you know, they're telling me what they want. I'm telling them what they want. And I'm like, Tommy, help. You know, yeah. you, this is your time, buddy. The, yeah. the, the boys are good-looking boys. I yeah. mean, you and Tommy are very good-looking people. You had good-looking <laughs> children. Their mom is Pam Anderson. Their dad is Tommy Lee. Yeah. Was Tommy a good influence? Could he step in and uh, and, and really take over? Or was he always on tour with Mom? He was crew? always on tour. He really wasn't around that much up until now. But now we make a real effort to be, even if we can't all see each other at the same time, we are on conference calls and we try and we make sure that we're united when we talk to our kids. And, you know, Tommy's tough. Tommy's, Tommy's really, really um, strict. He wants them to become not spoiled brat men. You know, he wants them to work and work hard. And it's, right. we really are impressing that. You're and, on the same right, page with Tommy about that. We are that. on the same page, but our kids right now are a little bit rebelling. Can you call Tommy? Is I he, call Tommy. Yeah, and he says, and be Tommy strong. And Tommy emails me all day, breathe, be strong. This is okay. This is what he needs. This is what, you know, believe me, it's really, we're doing a great job, I think, because I look around and I look at other parents. I've never had nannies. You know, I've did this all myself. And I admire Tommy for yeah, uh, trying, tr you know, he could also say, hey, you know what, I'll be the good guy here and undermine you. He's not undermining no, you. No, we are completely united and he's not being the, the friend, he's being the dad. Finally. Isn't it, this, this Tommy, who's the dad and being good, does that make you kind of fall back in love with him? I've never been out of love with Tommy. What happened? Why? It, it seems to me like maybe that should have been the perfect union. It probably should have. We probably should have stuck it out. I don't know. I hope he, you know, but again, at the time, you know, it was this craziness going on. We had all those people following us around. We were married young, married quick, had babies right away. And, and then, you know, and then I think he was like the whole point, the whole when he went to jail and everything like that was he was taking steroids i thought he was on heroin i was finding these needles you know uh -huh. it was like he was trying to get big and for me Buff. for oh. me so right. it's kind of sad but you know we still didn't handle ourselves right and and it fell apart and we tried back and forth back and forth and, and i don't think it's a good uh, do you, living relationship when but. you're around him and and the kids bring back all the good times you know like hey you know we were really in love we actually had children together and the kids know um, that they were born out of true love like right. real love so right. they, they know that so you're still in love with him I, I mean, I love him, and especially now, I think he's doing such a great job as he's, he's stepping up as a dad, because I could be on my own right now, and what would I do?